show you who to down the drapes Uncover them now in all their hate Now you're stuck, stuck with them people Dishonorable, so press down your pedal, girl My friends, uh, uh, today I'm coming at you with a nice schmexy sh little <coughs> commentary. I personally still think I have a shot at the commentary scene, honestly. Like, Leafy's dying. I mean, to be fair, most of the com you know, commentary scene's kind of dying right now. But when the resurgence comes, and it will come, it always comes, I'll, I'll be there, I'll be ready. Anyway, that's not the topic of this little thingamabobber right here that we're about to get into. Um, I'm actually going to be talking about video games today. <laughs> Something I haven't done on this channel for a fair amount of time. More specifically, about how people as they age tend to play less video games, and why that is. And I know what you're thinking. Uh, Chris, they play less because they die inside. They get jobs and they like money and they die. Chris, they fucking die. I don't want to die, Chris. I don't want to fucking die. <laughs> <laughs> uh. But it's true though. <laughs> There's really two types of adult gamers, you know. Those who only play when they're at their friend's house or when someone else offers it, you know, like they're not going to go out of their way to play video games. And there's those who buy the consoles just because, you know, they're fun. Uh, they have nothing they really have to do in the afternoons after work and so they just uh, play video games. And that's fine, that's, that's just a hobby, that's casual, it's nice. And obviously there are adults who play intensely, you know, like all day. Few and far between those people are, but they exist. And obviously I'm not bashing that, that's that's wicked. I'd say a, a large amount of the population would uh, <laughs> love to just be able to do that. But uh, I don't know, I feel like as you age you just kind of get more realistic. Uh, and when I say realistic, that's that's realistic is the code word for I need to justify why my life is so fucking boring. You know, your parents probably have told you in the past to be realistic about something, you know? You've, you've shared that a deep, emotional passion that you hold within you, and they just, they just shoot it down, you know? Or they just won't encourage it. You gotta, you gotta be more realistic. And, you know, to those parents, I just say, uh, video games are becoming more and more realistic all the time. Jonathan, get over here! Yeah, Dad? What are you doing? I'm, I'm playing video, video game, Dad. Why the fuck are you spending so much dumb ass shit? I don't know, it's fun, and, uh, you know, the, the, they have the, the... People people get really good at it, and they, they, they go to tournaments, and you, you, can, you can make a lot of money doing that, Dad. You know, I'm pretty good at it. I could really have a shot, you so know? when you getting a job, boy? Huh? What? A fucking job, boy! Dad, I'm, I'm young. I don't, I don't need a job, man. You need a job, boy! Get a fucking job! I'll kick you out of the fucking head, boy! Dad, I'm, I'm 14 years old. Go outside then and play with fucking cans like I used to do in my fucking heyday, boy! Fucking kick the can, man. That's some fucking useful shit there. Fucking kick your can, Dad. The fuck you just saved me, boy? Oh, Jesus. Get the fuck oh, back here, boy! Get back here, Dad! <laughs> Recently, I, uh, I haven't been playing that many video games, and uh, when I say recently, I mean just the last eight months, about, uh, while I was in school. Uh, I was just not doing video games. I was busy with schoolwork, or... Whoa. Hmm. What was I doing during the school year? Hmm. It's one of those things where you just can't really think of what you were doing, but you know there was something there. That's code for I was fucking depressed! No, but I actually played a decent amount of video games uh, over last summer. Just because I, I bought Overwatch, like five of my friends have Overwatch, that, that helps when your friends are playing a game with you, when other people are relishing a time that you spend on something. 
And I, I think that's largely what it is in life in general, honestly. Uh, people tend to be passionate and enjoy things that other people encourage or also are passionate about. You know, that's why you may have a passion for this one thing one day, but then people shoot you down, you know, people kind of tell you to be realistic, and, well, you know, a year later, you're not even passionate about it anymore. And that sucks, you know, because I found uh, when I went through phases like that, I was literally just watching YouTube videos all day, because it's really easy. There's no uh, active decision-making required by you, except for the brainless, uh, you know, decision-making of choosing the, the next video to watch. And, uh, yeah, it's just basically mindless and hard to go wrong with. Like, you know how your parents always are just watching TV, and they're watching their CNN, their, their Pawn Stars, their fucking Storage Wars Texas? Like, you may look at them and be like, oh, they're just wasting their time telling me to be realistic. Jesus, they spend six hours after work just watching TV. Well, I mean, if you're watching six hours of YouTube every night, you're basically doing the exact same thing. It's just, you know, built for a new generation. It's the next generation of entertainment. But yeah, I think that's a big part of what it is, is that uh, you need to have a passion about, you know, the games you're playing. You can't just really force yourself to play a game unless you're somehow, in some way, interested in it. And I think that's kind of where I fell off from the video game bandwagon, because I was playing games by myself for a while, because I didn't, my Xbox Live connection wasn't working, my internet sucked, my computer wasn't nice enough to play games with my friends, so I would have to rely on the Xbox, and the Xbox Live was gross. So I'd be playing games by myself, like story-driven games and whatever, but I just, I couldn't, I couldn't find the passion, you know, because I'm fairly picky when it comes to my solo games. You know, I forced some, like Max Payne and uh, Bioshock uh, Infinite, and they were pretty good, but... A lot of it was just monotonous feeling and kind of boring. You know, obviously the stories were <laughs> decent, but I just didn't have a passion. You know, I didn't wake up the next morning, like, excited to see where I'd get next in the story. And so, obviously, I'm playing the wrong games. You know, multiplayer games are clearly where it's at for me. Uh, and it's not even just multiplayer. Like, I can play a solo game. But I need to have company with me. Like, I remember the old days of playing Mario Sunshine or uh, Spongebob Squarepants, the movie, the game, the CD-ROM, the fucking euthanasia clinic, the fucking Ethan Clinton. <laughs> and my brother Alex would, would watch with me, and, you know, we'd switch, and we'd play together, and we'd be excited about it. That was, that was literally it, just being excited about it. And so that's why the only game I really play now is just Overwatch, because it is intense, man. When you're playing with your friends, you get into it, dude. And, like, those intense moments of anger when you lose or you just get fucked. Like, sure, they they suck, kinda, but they're still sick because you and your friends care, you know? It'd suck more if you didn't react a lot, honestly. And that it always comes back to Call of Duty for me, just because that was, like, the pinnacle of my gaming experience when I had literally an addiction to video games was Call of Duty Black Ops because I would wake up every fucking morning at literally 4 a.m. to 5 a.m. before school because I was insane, and I would jump on, and my buddy fucking Lego Deathman would not have slept. He would have been like, oh, yeah, Chris uh, just drank two Red Bulls, you know, like, obviously disgusting uh, lifestyle, but it's it's it was fun, man. My friends Paul and Dustin, we would stay up late, we would go to sleepover parties, dude. I mean, we were 12, 13 years old, dude. It was, it was sick. Man, I'll, I'll never forget some of the, those nights where we just would try to get, like, sick kills, and we would succeed, and, dude, the freakouts, man. I don't know if I could ever get that invested into a game again. I don't know if I'd want to, because this leads into the next kind of issue that comes up with gaming, and it's uh, just... People got shit to do, man. You got school, you got work, uh, and if you're me now, you got you got YouTube, which is basically now what I'm doing in my uh, free time. And I'm perfectly fine with that because I found my passion again. You know, these real life videos that you're seeing and will be seeing coming out very frequently, they've revitalized my excitement because not only are they fun to shoot, they're fun to edit. And that's very important for me, you know? Like while I'm editing that, there's a ton of moments where I just, I'm literally laughing my ass off. So for me, that's that's my video game right now. And I'd love to get my friends involved in those videos in some way. Somehow I'll make it, uh, I'll make it work. But yeah, that's basically it, honestly. Right now, I don't regret not playing video games because, in my opinion, there's not that many games that I'm too excited to play. 
You know, and of course you have your recommendations and I'd be more than happy to hear them. But as far as I'm concerned, there hasn't been a really huge game that's just it brings people together and is super fun and has made me excited since Minecraft. Honestly, when Minecraft first came out, that was so exciting. And I wish I had more access to it because I, my computers were trash. I could barely play it. But like, don't lie. Don't, don't fucking lie to me. You listening right now, you were excited about Minecraft when you first saw it on YouTube. You know it. You binge-watched the shit out of channels that played it. And it was fucking exciting. So yeah, in the meantime, I'm just not going to force myself into gaming. I don't want to get addicted to League of Legends because I don't want to be like my brother Alex. Although, I'm like, I'm putting it in a negative light, but obviously he's playing with his friends. It's social, you know. But it does kind of consume his life a little bit too much. But, you know, it's, it's whatever. But yeah, that's basically it. Uh, you know, the thesis of this video is basically just uh, why do people stop playing video games as they age? They just lose interest. Or their friends start losing interest because their parents, you know, tell them to get more realistic. And so when their friends lose interest, you know, they, they try, they try and force it, and it's just not that much fun. It's just easier to watch TV because you can talk about TV with a bunch of people because all those mindless adults, they watch TV. That's usually how it goes. And, you know, watching TV is perfectly fine. It's really, it's whatever you're passionate about. If you enjoy a TV show very much, you know, that's good. But when you're mindlessly watching it just because you literally are just bored of life, like I did with YouTube, like the last four years, it's uh, it's a bit, it's a bit uh, unhealthy. You know, and I know there's someone listening right now who's like, fuck. That's me right now, dude. Hey, if if you're not concerned, if you're not feeling de depressed about it, then uh, who cares? It's your life to live. Live it how you'd like. But yeah, for myself, I'm just someone who needs to be motivated about what they're doing to do it properly. For me, that's just very, very important. I will suck at what I'm doing, or I will not enjoy what I'm doing if I don't care. And I honestly hope that there's a video game in the near future that just hooks me. Like, it just takes me away. I don't regret any of my Call of Duty addiction. Um, I don't think it took anything away from me. If anything, it probably bettered me as a person because that's how I picked up video editing and it completely changed my life if you think about it. That's basically it. I'm going, uh, I'm going off now. Oh, no, oh, yo, Chris, oh, Granddaddy Chris going off on his, his old, his old memories. Anyway, yeah, so if you're listening to this point, uh, thank you. And uh, secondly, just leave a comment below, man. I, I know there's a lot of people who watch my content, they don't, they don't leave comments. I understand if you don't leave comments for big ass YouTubers, because why would you, you know? But for me, I, I see every single comment. I read every comment. I respond to it if a response is what's necessary. I'm literally the most interactive YouTuber you'll probably ever encounter. So yeah, just, just say hi. Uh, if anything, let me know what your favorite game is right now and try and sell it to me. You know, maybe get, get me addicted, you know, be my drug dealer for video games. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Peace out, sauerkraut. <laughs>